I'm Reginald Gickington, and you can call me Reggie, and today I'll be continuing a painting journey through the miniatures of Senjutsu by Swordstone Games. We've done one fierce and armored samurai already, the warrior, but it's time to do another. This time we're going to be doing the lone wolf, the ronin. It's a darker and edgier character, I'm going to give him a color scheme to match it. The first step is going to be an all-over coat of Mechanicus Standard Grey, which we're then going to dry brush somber grey over. The reason for this is the semi-transparency of contrast paints, which are going to be vital for his armor. As black is a very flat color that you can't really make darker or brighter, we're going to need to use a thin black and establish our highlights before applying the black later. That way, the armor is going to naturally have some edge highlighting and recess shading by default. Next comes Steel Legion Drab, applied to the haft of his Yari, the hilts of his swords, the flagpole on his back, his Jinbaiori, and the fabric parts of his armor. However, don't do his socks or shoes, as those are not going to be receiving Steel Legion just yet. Now we're going to use a one-to-one -one mix of Black Templar and Contrast Medium applied all over the armor panels. This is the thinned black I mentioned earlier, and it's going to make the armor have much more depth than just flat Black Templar. Now comes Wildwood and Skeleton Horde. Wildwood goes over the Jinbaiori, while Skeleton Horde goes on all of the fabric parts of the armor like the sleeves and pants. The next step is going to be Jokero Orange and Ghost Grey. Ghost Grey is going to go on his banner, on the cloth element, while Jokero Orange is going to be used to establish a secondary tone for the mini, on the belt, the leg, and arm wraps, the face mask, and on a few of the armor trims. We're going to give them an orange tone, which is going to be necessary for our next step. Once that's done, we're going to do the metallic elements, lead belcher on the sword blades, the connection point of the flag, the pommel and blades of the yari, then retributor armor on the tsubas of the katanas and of the head crest, but not the horns, which we're going to do differently later. We're going to do some small details now. First, we're going to use Wraithbone all over his socks and sandals, along with the horns on his head. Then, Bugman's Glow just over the eyes, which are going to need to go back and clean up using Jokero Orange, most likely. And finally, on all of the orange elements, we're going to highlight using Averland's Sunset to bring them up to a dark yellow. Now comes the washing phase, using black wash on the steel parts, a little bit of flesh wash over the eyes, and brown wash on the socks. 
My brown wash personally is a 1 to 3 mix of black and flesh wash, though if you prefer a dedicated brown wash like Agrax Earthshade or Army Painter Strong Tone, you can use that. To finish the sandals, we're going to use Steel Legion Drab on the ropes and flats. Then, you're going to have an opportunity to really customize your Ronin, with a large, mostly flat surface presenting itself. The flag on the black is the ideal space to show your Ronin's allegiances. I looked through historic Japanese symbols to find the best fit for mine, and eventually settled on the Kikawa clan symbol, a circle with three horizontal lines through it, both due to its simplicity and ease of painting, but also the fact that it's reminiscent of the 50 Blessings logo from Hotline Miami, for those familiar. For this, I recommend Black Templar, but if you want to put your free hand into the test, you are totally free to paint whatever symbol you want in whatever colors. If you want to paint a whole painting on the banner in full color, I would love to see the results, and be sure to tag me on Instagram to show me. With the banner done, we're going to do the base now using Mechanica Standard Grey on the stone parts and Steel Legion Drab on the earth and the arrow hafts. The next step is Wildwood and Black Wash, applied to the earth and stone respectively, before using Ghost Grey on the arrow's feathers and Dead White to highlight them along with the banner. The last step is Thunderhawk Blue, applied to the directional arrow on the base and Black Templar on the rim. And with that, the Ronin is complete. A darker and edgier version of what the warrior may become one. Have fun painting your Senjutsu miniatures, and feel free to tag me on Instagram, at ReggieGeek, to show me how yours turn out. I'd love to see any attempts that you do for the symbol on the flag, or if you decide to do a full-color banner. Links to my affiliated socials can be found in the description. Feel free to subscribe or like the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon with another painting tutorial.